And here we are at day two now of a little vacation up the central coast. It's about 10 after 12. Uh, I got off to a later start than I wanted. Even though I got up early, I had some issues at work I had to take care of. Uh, finally got that taken care of and uh, got on the road at noon. Uh, we're on Highway 1, just past uh, San Luis Obispo, heading towards Morro Bay. And the goal today is to go up about 100 miles on Highway 1 up to the Big Sur coastline. I'm doing it today because weather's going to get a little spotty as the week uh, goes on. I think they're expecting some rain starting overnight tonight and tomorrow. Not a great deal, but enough to compromise the views. So I'm hoping to get enough sun on the coast uh, to get some good viewing and some good pictures. And uh, this little trip should probably take us the rest of the day. Uh, we're coming up on Morro Bay soon and uh, Hearst Castle we will also pass. And uh, I might do more video of those areas on the way back instead of on the way up to save time. And just some quick video from the car of uh, Morro Bay. Pretty day out here, uh, sun shining. In Pismo Beach it was overcast, also overcast in San Luis Obispo, but uh, about five miles past San Luis Obispo, the skies cleared up. Well, I said I wasn't gonna stop, but I did. I walked out of the car and saw this little squirrel thing running around. This nice seagull sitting on a rock there. Just flying away, we're just uh, in San Simeon. And just giving a look of uh, the water. I'm sure you could hear the waves. The smell of the ocean. Very nice. Hearst Castle's up uh, in those hills there somewhere. I think you can probably can't see it on this camera. But straight ahead, way off in the distance, is the Hearst Castle. All right, back in the car, up towards Big Sur. Apparently the gulls like pretzels and peanut butter. That ought to give them something to nibble on for a while. Oh, Buddy doesn't know what's happening with all this action. Sorry, pal, you missed out. Yeah. Okay, we stopped uh, about two miles north of a little town called Gorda. And we're about 80 miles north of Pismo Beach on Highway 1. Uh, the sign said another 65 miles to the Monterey Peninsula, and I'm not going to go up quite that far. But uh, here's a picture. There's somebody on the beach there on their hands and knees. I don't know, looking for something, I guess. And uh, the sun is starting to kind of go behind the clouds a little bit, marine layer. But a very pretty drive so far. The road is very windy curvy. Uh, never been this way though ever in my life so I'm enjoying uh, the chance to do it. At least something to put on the bucket list. So this is it. Just letting Buddy stretch his legs and try not to go down the cliff. And uh, we'll get back in the car and head on further north. You're building a bridge here. Uh, got traffic limited to one way. This is a pretty interesting structure. I think maybe it's, I don't know why it has a roof on it. Maybe to protect from rock fall? I have no idea. We're about 20 miles south of Big Sur and there's one of the uh, bridges, fancy bridges on Highway 1. <clears throat> Take a quick pan shot towards the south where we came <clears throat> and uh, hopefully we'll get to Big Sur right around 3 o'clock and then uh, that'll put us home probably around 7 should be dark by then but we'll be off Highway 1 by the time it gets dark so far so good
Okay, I'm at the Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park here in Big Sur, California. At the lodge. Got a quick sandwich. Nestled among the uh, redwood trees here. Nice little place right off the highway. And uh, we're not going to go any farther north. We're actually moving inland at the moment. Away from the coast. So I'm going to turn around and head back. It's about 3.15 and uh, we'll see how long it takes us to get back to Pismo Beach. I'll make some stops along the way. Okay, I'm just a couple miles south of Big Sur now and I'm gonna take a few more stops to get some shots along the way. There's much more turnouts on the south side than on the north side. And here's a picture of the coast with a nice uh, home down there. And I'm going to go across to the other side looking to the south and there's an even a nicer home I think out in the distance. Okay, here's a picture looking to the south and the wind is starting to pick up a little bit. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's an A-framed uh, house right there. Uh, there's a tree right in the middle of the picture just to the right of the tree. more progress back down. There's another picture of that A-framed house. This is looking north, however. Look at the beautiful scenery. The sun glistening off the water. a seal. I heard a seal barking down there. Okay, here is uh, another shot again looking south of the Big Sur coast uh, from Juliet Pfeiffer Burn State Park. This is one of the nicer views. Little hazy, high cloud marine layer up above. Beautiful. Love the smell of the ocean. The plants, it has a you know it has an odor to it, a, a pleasant fragrance. More coastline. The breeze is picking up, so I'm standing by this bush to help block the wind. And there's uh, the windy road heading north. Okay, here I am back at the uh, probably the most picturesque lookout. I've got the camera on the tripod and that's as close of a zoom as I can get. But the sun coming out is helping to add some color, which is nice. Hope you can hear me with the breeze. The afternoon wind is picking up. Gorgeous though.
This is the Big Creek Bridge. Here's a rare little stretch of sandy beach. Tiny little thing, private. You could see footprints on it. People have hiked down there. Beautiful now that the sun is coming low on the horizon. Well, it's 5.30 and uh, damn running out of daylight fast. I'm here in Lucia at this bridge site once again. Sunset's going to be in about 10 minutes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch it. Uh, 80 miles from San Luis Obispo. That probably puts us about 95 or so from the campground at Pismo Beach. But the scenery was great. Much better scenery coming uh, south. Uh, coming from the north facing south much more opportunity and much better scenery from the road half the stuff I saw I didn't even see on the way coming up well I'm starting to run out of light even though the Sun hasn't set yet I'm not sure how much of a sunset I'm gonna get probably not much of one with all those clouds maybe maybe right on the horizon there but I may miss it I might be on the road if there's no turnout I'm not gonna be able to skid it all right, well, it's five after six, and there really was no sunset. The whole thing was obstructed by clouds. <clears throat> so I'm about uh, 80 miles from Pismo Beach, and uh, zipping along as fast as I can go uh, in the waning minutes of daylight. But it was a good day today, although I got off to a late start. Daylight savings time really would have helped me today, but I came a week too early. Uh, that extra hour of daylight would have made a big difference. Anyhow, had a great time. Glad to say that I took the drive. Uh, the other part of the drive that I didn't take from uh, Monterey Bay down to Big Sur is something that uh, is more convenient to be done from Sacramento. So I can do that another time. Maybe next time I am in the Monterey area, you know, for camping. That would be a nice drive to take. So. That's it for today. Not sure what we'll do tomorrow, depending on the weather. Um, that will kind of dictate where we go and what we do. So until then, that's it.